Happy Tom for Tuesday. Yeah, where you know, right here every Tuesday, it's all about Tom Ford beauty. Hello, everyone. Again, happy Tom Ford Tuesday. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the comments. Oh my gosh. Hi, guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Hey, Gemma. Yes, it was one of your, well, I've gotten this request a few times, but it was one of you guys that wanted me to, you know, talk about some lippies. So here we are. It's Tom Ford Tuesday and it's National White. <gasps> it is? That is truly a bonus. Yes. Hey. Oh my gosh. Yes. We love. We love. <laughs> Hey, Venice. Hey, SJ. <laughs> so, again, happy Tom Ford Tuesday. It's always a good day for Tom Ford Tuesday, especially on Tuesday. Da -da -da. Okay, I'm being cheesy. <laughs> so, um, really quick. Uh, I don't have on any foundation. So, I, 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 I yeah, I'm not wearing foundation, just concealer and eye makeup. And I did put on blush and bronze and all that stuff. But I wanted to sort of kind of give my skin a little bit of a break because I have to just share this with you guys. I had a little reaction to the Armani, the uh, the new Fluid Sheer, the Glow Enhancer. I got this in my Sephora haul thingy that I did. And man... I was just determined to try it and to make it work because I wanted to try it in different ways. Because when I first tried it, I was like, oh, no. But I wanted to continue using it. And, uh, yeah, it gave me a lot of bumps. <laughs> a lot of bumps. It's not cute. So I just, you know, I'm giving my skin a break. But on the eyes, I played around with two palettes. We have, what is this one? The Body Heat. So I played around with body heat a little bit today. This is just in that uh, rose prick limited edition packaging. And then mercurial. So we've got those two going on on the eyes. So it's like, and of course, everything else on the face. It's full face Tom Ford. It's Tom Ford Tuesday, y'all. Yes. So we're going to get into some lippies today because why not? And I do want to kind of just have a discussion. Let's have a chat about... The lipsticks as a whole. Okay. <laughs> oh, Venice, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Gemma. Yeah, man. Christine, I was just like, mm. I really wanted it to work too. I really did. I really did. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love, um, to kind of play around with multiple palettes at once and maybe we'll do a little bit of that next week we'll pick some palettes and play around and have some fun you know you know if that's cool with y'all and everything hey mrs unnecessary and a good evening to you joy thank you Gemma. marlo keenan hello hello we're doing pretty good this evening. Very thankful for that. Lorraine, hello. I saw your garden on Instagram and I love what you had to say about it. I just wanted to just get that out there. So beautiful. I loved it. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't get it, get it too. So for everybody who's coming in, I had mentioned uh, the Armani... Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. It's like a blush, highlight looking thing. I've been trying to make it work because I tried it on the live when I first got it from the Sephora haul and I just couldn't get it to work. And now I found that it's breaking me out. So I don't have any foundation today, but just lots and lots of makeup. <laughs> Eye makeup and concealer and all of that stuff. <laughs> hey, look, Maiden. Marsha, hello. All right, hang on. What's Christine saying? My letting people were fully vaccinated to remove their masks. Lipsticks here. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. So guys, um, I don't have as many lipsticks as you might think. I just want to put that out there. So in no particular order, <laughs> well, maybe a little bit of a particular order because when we do lip swatches, I don't want to be fully stained, you know? So um, let's start off with the lightest and go from there. So maybe it is a little bit of a particular order, but I know based on the packaging. So if you're unfamiliar with Tom Ford lipsticks, traditionally they come in, you know, the Tom Ford signature color story. And I feel like this lipstick style and shape is iconic. So, and then, you know, of course, Tom Ford, let me make it cute. Hang on, let me make it cute. Okay. <laughs> let me make it shiny. So, you know, the Tom Ford on the top, you've got the information on the bottom. And it's like, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, because Gemini season is upon us. But, 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 it's almost like, <laughs> I feel like the bottom of some of the lipstick, makeup in general, like on the underside when you want to read stuff, it's like so tiny oh my god i'm just like what why <laughs> but on the bottom of your tom ford lipstick it's got all the information name color where it's made yada yada i don't i don't think there is like an expiration thingy on here maybe it was on the box or may yeah wait a minute <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i'm not seeing it so I see some, some are made in Italy, some are made in New York, if anyone was curious. Like this one in particular was made in Italy. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tom Ford lipsticks were my first, or my first love of Tom Ford beauty. I love that. Very classic. Two weeks, Gemma. Yes, two more weeks for Gemma's birthday, y'all. Gemini season is upon us, and I love it. Okay, so back to the lipsticks. I digress. I had coffee, so if I'm like super, <sighs> I had coffee, which is very silly at this hour. I'll be up all night. <laughs> and I'm excited, so I did a little dribble. Anywho. Our first lipstick. This is the shade Pussycat. And here is what Pussycat looks like. It's so pretty. I don't think I need to give the disclaimer, but hi, if you're new here, I'm Mo, a big lover of Tom Ford, and all of my products are used, so they're not going to be super pristine. But when you do get a Tom Ford lipstick on the top portion, there is a TF embossed in there. I don't think I have any that have that left but you know they do have a tf up there so again here's pussycat let's let's do a proper swatch shall we okay wait <laughs> why am i acting like this is new and i've never done this before <laughs> give me a swatch of pussycat i like colors like this is like a pinky mauvey shade oh that's what she looks like and i will say with the shape of the lipstick I don't always need to use a lip liner, so we'll just apply Pussycat with nothing, so y'all can see. And this is, is this matte? Yeah, this is a matte, matte lipstick, so it's a fin it finishes matte. Mm. How fun is that color? Let me get closer so you can see. Again, remember, I'm not wearing foundation and my skin is having a moment, so don't judge me. Okay, judge me kindly if you do. <laughs> but here is Pussycat, which is a matte finish. It's a very go-to kind of lipstick, you know? It goes with, a li with everything. Like, yeah, this look is dramatic. Grab Pussycat. It'll work. Love that shade. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Natural pink. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> I have yet to find the perfect nude from Tom Ford. I have some in mind, but it's like I have not been able. I have not been able to just, oh, 
<laughs> Lorraine. Oh, so Gemma, you're the eighth. I know Lorraine is what? The fifth? When are you again, Lorraine? The 15th? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gemma, I'm the 10th. Okay. Wow. Look at all of us. I love it. <laughs> Hello, Pauline. You made it just in time. I I did one swatch. One. I only did one. And it's Pussycat. Okay. So, I have to say, very creamy. Even though it's matte, it's very comfortable. It's not dry and, like, crusty looking. It's comfortable and it's nice. And, you know, you guys know I have lines in my lips. It's just, it's just what it is. And... It wears fairly well in all of that and such. Come on, Gemini's. <laughs> Pauline wants to know. <laughs> I know we have Gemma, Lorraine, Venice, Michelle. <laughs> so I'm using my little, you know, my usual little makeup room erasers. We save in the planet. Every little way we can, because you guys know makeup is, oh, yes. <laughs> okay, next, I have another one that's like a go-to shade, and I was very happy that I was able to get it in the limited edition rose prick packaging. So this is Indian Rose. This is a classic. It is available in this packaging. If you're not a fan of the, you know, this one, that's, that's cool. They do have it in this packaging as well. And I think this is a, yeah, this is a satin finish. So that is Indian Rose. Give you a little swatch of her. Let's see. You're going to be like, Mo, you have like 10 of the same lipstick. No, I don't. <laughs> so um, what the heck was the first one? Pussycat. Pussycat, I want to say, is a little bit deeper than Indian Rose. It's definitely deeper. But they look very similar on the lips. But then also Pussycat's a matte. And Indian Rose is a satin. So there's that. So, you you know, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Okay? <laughs> and it's so comfortable. The satin formula is very comfortable on the lips. Ooh, see, live, anything can happen. <laughs> but you know what? It might work out because I don't have on too much makeup, so I'm not too worried. It's just more like stay in the lines, Mo, but you know, the artistic, creative creature that I was growing up. Do you think I ever stayed in the lines when I colored? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm a rebel. So here we are with Indian Rose. True classic. Another mo pink. Like, I like pink. <laughs> so, get serious. Indian rose. I have to, I have to act accordingly so that you can see it. <laughs> Indian rose, guys. On the lips and the Indian rose in a swatch. Chupapi Munyenyo. Hello, darling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no coloring in the lines. <laughs> Isn't this one nice, Lorraine? I really like um, Indian Rose. I think Indian Rose and Casablanca, which we'll get to, are big time top sellers for Tom Ford, for sure. And speaking of Casablanca, let's do that one next. Because that, I think of all of my Tom Ford lipsticks, is the most repurchased. Like, it's just everything. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Indian Rose seems more peachy. Yeah. Let me see if we can get a closer looky look. 
So Pussycat and Indian Rose. Yes, Brett, you need Indian Rose. She's cute. But wait till you see her next to Casablanca because Casablanca is like, yeah. So again, <laughs> I um, I couldn't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I cannot find my Casablanca, like the big one. So I have a ton of these because <laughs> there is no shame when I go to a Tom Ford counter and I'm buying stuff. You're going to give me some samples, please. Thank you. And I got a couple of these because they're easy to throw in the purse. But, you know, Tom Ford does make smaller versions. Anyhow, we'll get to that. But I will show you Casablanca from my little guy. It's all, it's all you know, it'll work. Here's what Casablanca looks like. <laughs> Again, I promise I don't have all the same colors. I just, I have a type. <laughs> okay, so here's Casablanca. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh so pussycat pussycat still has a little purple like a little mauvey purple-ish undertone then you've got indian rose which is a lot lighter and it's definitely more of the creamy side because that's the satin and then casablanca <laughs> i have a type we but casablanca goes with everything it really does I want the per want a perfect burnt orange lipstick. <sighs> and I was looking at one from Tom Ford today. It's like a ready, well, no, burnt orange. What's a good burnt orange? I feel like Byredo has one that you might like. Super creamy. This one is a satin finish as well so creamy on the lips yes yeah, so here let me hold my arm back so maybe they'll look oh you'll see how different they actually are i promise they're different colors <laughs> but you see there's just something about the tones in casablanca that i just feel work a little bit better for me i really love casablanca so again pussycat Indian Rose in Casablanca. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the tone, you know? It's like we need to have variation and it might be, it might be slight, but it's enough, you know? <laughs> Hey, Blue Lovin', how you doing? Blue Livin', I said it right. <laughs> Casablanca, so beautiful, right? I love it. It is. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me keep myself organized here. Um. Oh, wow, and I this other little one is another Indian rose because it's like I love having these little ones in my purse. So listen, when you go to Tom Ford counter and you buy stuff, do not be shy. Let me get my samples, please. Okay? Samples make me come back. Just, just know that. Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sort of. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. I do. Yeah. Let me tell you, Casablanca, I just, Casablanca just goes with everything. I truly feel it goes with everything. Yes. Love it, right? <laughs> you need to see, my, you should see my lipstick collection in general. <sighs> I know. Hey, listen, when you have a type, you have a type. Because, listen, we are buying our makeup to use it. I mean, sometimes we collect it. I mean, I will admit. But for the most part, we buy our lipstick to use. So it's like we're going to have a type so that we can use that type. And you'll know us for that type. <laughs> I'm going to say it's just like that. Mo, can't be the sample. 
Yes, you do. You have to say it just like that. Please and thank you. May I have my samples? Jesus. Can I have my samples? Okay. I have here the, again, with the limited edition packaging, you will get me every time. This is the lip blush. It's Tom Ford's version of those jelly-like bombs that the more you put on, you can build it up and build up the color. And it almost like is personal to everyone. And that's what I've noticed. I've noticed that this product in particular looks different on everyone. Um, I'll try to swatch it, but it doesn't really swatch per se, but it is something that gives a little bit of a pinky hue to the lips. And this is like the most beautiful, there it is, you can see it. This is truly the most beautiful thing to just wear on like a no makeup day, but you tried, you know, it's very, very pretty. So shall we? And again, it's like a bomb. So it feels like a bomb and just super comfortable. And this is again, something that you can just go a little bit. And I mean, yeah, I probably still have some color from the other lipstick and from the friction on my lips, but I'll just put it on the bottom portion so that you can sort of see light application what happens. And then we build her up. You just keep building her up. You're going to continue to have that balm texture and feel, but with just a little bit more pigment on your lips. It's so soft and effortless. Ah, this is awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Very simple. Very simple. It's like a nothing kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> and again, I mean, the trend of it all with the fun packaging, I love so much. What's Marlo saying? I have too much lipstick. That's why I do not buy lippies off. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Except when Tom Ford glosses are when they're on sale. I know, girl. Uh-huh. Yes. I was very proud. I feel proud when I can get her to buy something. Because she's like, no, I love it. And it makes me proud. Whenever you guys purchase things that I recommend and then you rave about it, it's just, it feels awesome to hear that I was able to share like a little thing with you and you can enjoy it too. Because there's so much to enjoy in this world that we have our little corner here on the internet, you know? Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll just talk about this one. And you'll understand why. It's another one of those balmy. Oh, look. Let's see. See how it's been on my arm for a little bit now? You can see it's kind of my, you know, it's warmed up. So you can see it's kind of built up the color. That was the, the lip blush. Now, this product. <laughs> this is the Balm Frost. From the moment that I got this, I could not put it down. And it looks like absolute trash. So it did not look like this when I first got it. But this is why, why it looked like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the bomb frost. It's a little wonky. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. I will try and swatch it for you. It's another one of those balmy products. This one is pretty transparent for the most part, but it has little reflex. Oh, let's see, you can see it a little bit right there. It's got a little reflex in it. It's very like a nothing kind of thing. I can't even use this anymore because it's all. But that was the bomb frost. I do have a dedicated video with it and I've used it in plenty. I've used it plenty. It's not like anything. <laughs> Yes, I love that because I feel like Tom Ford is Tom Ford don't need me. It's not like that, but I just feel like hey guys, Tom Ford, it's so classy, it's so real world. It's so like you could 
wear it and be glam. You can wear it and be soft. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it to a party. You know, you can wear it on a Zoom. You know. <laughs> Yours does too. Okay. I love it. But why does it look like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. That is exactly how we should be describing used makeup is it's very well loved. And it shows. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> you right, Gemma, yes. Yes. <laughs> I think so. I think if it's not Nordstrom, it's Bloomingdale's. And a lot of time, guys, you can always call a counter and they can sometimes locate things for you. Well, being new to Tom Ford, I have to know what are on your wish list at the moment? For the moment, I have one particular nude lipstick that I've been trying to get my little paws on forever from Tom Ford. It's in the satin matte finish. I forget the name, but that nude lipstick. I have the iQuad that has been quote unquote leaked. It looks like a cross between body heat and submission, the gold. And then the new blushes that were leaked. And of course, the concealer, the Shade and Illuminate Concealer. I have been like, I'm literally scraping the sides of this one. And it's like, it's time. It's time. It's time. Me. <laughs> Appreciate you very much. That was very, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Sephora. Okay, sweet. Thank you so much. Yes. Listen, I am probably, I think it, I think it would be best for me to get another bomb frost because wow, <laughs> it's not cute. It's not, it's not, it's not cute anymore. So let's move on to another lipstick. This one is in the rose prick packaging. This is in the satin matte finish, and this one is called Tzadzai 4. This packaging is like a skinnier version of the regular lipsticks. This one is just in limited edition packaging. They do have it in this regular traditional Tom Ford packaging. This color I got the same time I picked up this body heat. I was like like a thing. <laughs> but this color is really pretty. And yes, again, it's another pink. <laughs> Let me show you. Ooh, do you. Do you see for a matte? See how creamy that was? So beautiful. But again, it's a satin matte. So here it goes. Super creamy. Oh my God. Just wow. This feels so nice on your lips. And it just feels really good. It does. Make sure I colored in the lines. But that is to die for. Very creamy. And I mean, I don't know. Feels really good. One thing I'll say about this one in particular, because I've worn it a little bit, is the color will fade, but you're really left with a very soft, balm kind of like tint. And you still have that moisture on your lips. It feels really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. <laughs> yes. I love that. I do. We can relate. <laughs> I have to admit, you introduced me to Tom Ford Beauty. I love the eyeshadows and lip gloss and lipstick. I will have to try the foundation next. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. And I really like that there's quite a few options for Tom Ford as far as like finishes and coverage. Beautiful. But 
you know, I highly recommend Shade and Illuminate. It's literally the most beautiful thing. Oh my gosh. And I get so much use out of it. Yes, to die for. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like, it pops. It can take any drab makeup look and just you pop. You're just like, mm, yes, amazing. <laughs> exactly <laughs> I prefer a satin matte finish they seem to have yes I, I agree I agree and I feel like they last a little bit maybe just like a little bit longer none of these lipsticks have any claims of being long lasting they're just traditional lipsticks you know but I do find the satin mattes to have a little bit little bit more longevity yes Yes, we love pink. Hello, MK. Yes. Gemma, I love those beigey browns. I feel like, do you, would you guys say, I know it's time for Tuesday, so forgive me in advance, but would you say that um, Penny Beige from Gucci is like a beigey brown? Would you agree? I'm getting a little makeup remover on my makeup eraser because this pink I know is going to leave a little something on the lips. Yeah, she's a little stain it leaves. Am I lagging? What is happening? I tell you, technology. Huh. <sighs> yeah? Okay. See, okay. Penny Beige, to me, is literally the perfect nude. Like, that I feel just works across the spectrum so well. So well. Okay. I have one of these little guys to share with you. And um, I know that they still have these, but I'm not sure if they have this color because this was with a previous collection this is the lip balm in the shade après soleil i think this came out with the slow soleil neige collection it's a little guy it's so cute <laughs> so just for size referencing wait hello size reference let me try to make it right so you can see okay so this is a little balm this is the satin matte and the little skinnier tube. And then this is your traditional lipstick. So it's a oh, lot smaller, but not as small, let's say, as like a sample. She's cute. But it's definitely purse size. So a price soleil. Oh. And this is Unnecessary's words. It's very well loved. <laughs> this is, like it says, it's in the more of a balm kind of texture. And it used to have a TF up there, but oof. Yeah. <laughs> so this is probably the closest nude that I have in my collection. Right there. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. And I love that it's a bomb. So you can go one little bit like so. And it's very nothing. Or if you're in that mood, you can build it up. And it's super comfortable because, again, it's a bomb. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. But I need like another nude. <laughs> like a regular nude in the satin matte formula. I would love that. Wait, I see a pop of beauty. Wait. Gemma, you I need to try Papa Beauty. They make really pretty lipsticks. Penny Beige is one of my favorites. Yes. I love that lipstick so much. Okay, so this is Après Soleil in the balm, lip balm. Just says lip balm. As tiny as this thing is. And this one is... Is this one made in Italy? It's made in Italy. I don't know if they're all made in Italy because some said made in Italy and others said New York. Anywho. Again, see, it's a very balm. But this is what it so watch is like. Love this. This is like a no makeup. 
lippy kind of gig. Really, really like it. <laughs> I haven't tried too many of the little ones. I've like that boys and girls collection was awesome. It's like I found myself wanting to buy colors just based on the names. Not even knowing what the color looked like. <laughs> I like, right? Après Soleil. So pretty. Isn't it, guys? I love it, too. So good. All right. We are going to a nice, bold-esque color. You got to have a Tom Ford red, a classic red. And I'm glad I waited, and it just worked its way out that I got it in gold packaging. This is the Scarlet Rouge. I'm sorry, let me say it correctly. Scarlet Rouge. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Gorgeous. If you are a red lipstick lover, like right here, right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. And what is this? I think this is a satin in finish. Tada. But okay, as you can probably see, it's red, but like it works on the most spectrum. <laughs> Cause you know, I got a type, okay? I have a type. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to be good and focus and get in the lines. So I'm actually gonna hold a mirror and stop using the, the thingy. <laughs> so creamy, so comfortable. If you want, like, to whiten your teeth instantly, just wear red lipstick. You're good. Floss, brush your teeth, floss, and put on a red lipstick. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm focused so that I color in the lines, okay? I have to remember to breathe. <laughs> it's like you get so serious, you forget to breathe. Like, Monique, get yourself together. So silly. Okay. Listen. So you can see her. Scarlet Rouge. Oh my gosh. Look at the teeth. <laughs> yes. Love a good red. Love a good red. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. You guys are making me blush. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right? Let me tell you. You can have, like, not the greatest of days. Or, like, you're going into something and you just want that little extra oomph. Put on a red lipstick, honey, and hold your head up. Whew! Yes. Yes. Love this red. Love this red. Yes, Joy. This red right here, Scarlet Rouge. Everything. Yes. I just feel, and we'll talk about it, but I just feel I needed one good red because he has a few i just needed one good one and I, I i feel confident in this one i do yes i agree with you Gemma. let me where did i put it so definitely looks a lot deeper in the bullet but also you can build her up a bit uh, not too much, but you're right. It does look a lot darker. There we go. A little, yeah. So pretty. <laughs> yes. Brush your teeth, floss, do your hair, hold your head up, and put on a red lipstick. You can conquer anything, girl. Yes. One of your many reds. I bought the regular size and I received the mini. I was like, mm -hmm. You see, and let me tell you, 
These samples are a good size. Yes, they are. Let me see. Who worked with that lives in all the best teeth? Wait, they're boosting in sales. It will be the likes. And they all lie. Listen. <laughs> Um, I do not have this one. I have heard it's very pretty, but I also, I've heard a couple of things. I've heard it's more like on a cherry red, which I'm, I'm fine with, but I do like the packaging and I am very tempted, but I don't have that one. No, thank you. I'm trying not to be like, <laughs> thank you. Totally understandable. I know it's so every listen, we're all in a different space, you know, health wise or just I get it totally. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So I have mentioned this before. Um, but the truth be told in regards to why I don't have all of the Tom Ford lipstick that I truly want is because I don't know why or when exactly this occurred, but Tom Ford lipsticks, they go bad quick. I have had that experience as of late. Like I want to say in the last, I want to say in the last three years is when I noticed that Tom Ford lipsticks go bad quick. And they smell so nasty. So nasty. <laughs> like, you could not, like, something would have to be wrong with you for you to be out here wearing an expired old turned Tom Ford lipstick. Because the smell is so bad. So, so bad. Like, I'm just very surprised because of the price tag and then within within a year i want to say some of them like within six months i started smelling and i'm just like excuse me and i did this was a little bit before things were and are the way they are now i had an essay at the counter and i was just like hey um I just bought this lipstick in this thing. And they're like, oh, we're not sure. But they didn't give me a hard time. They were like, okay, here, we'll. But then it did it again. And then another lipstick did it again. Because I'm constantly buying multiples of Casablanca and Indian Rose because I'll lose it. Like, perfect example. Now I'm sitting here using this little thing because I can't find my big one. I'll lose it. I'll have had it in another purse. And one of my daughters will take it, you know, some, something. I misplaced it. I don't know. Because you ever organize yourself too good? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I just cleaned. Where did I put that? That has happened plenty. Um, but I found myself buying it too often, too soon. And I'm just like, mm. So because of that, I don't buy as often as I do. So what I swatched for you so far, I mean, I have a little bit more, but that's really it. And I want to share this with you because it's very easy to fall in love with them. And just, I want more. I want to just keep buying and just keep buying. That's great and all, but just want to warn you because we're cool like that, you know? You know, it's just like, it's your homie looking out, you know, because I, mm -mm, it's not okay. And I think for the price tag, I don't think that's nice at all. At all. It's, mm -mm. Hello, she lady. Go bad real quick. They smell a little. Yeah. It's nasty. It's really nasty. There was that. Yes. And I know that they reformulated a little bit ago. And like, I'm happy, but I'm not. Because... <laughs> $55, you know, you know how much other stuff we could buy, like, or just put that towards a palette, you know. <laughs> Tom Ford Lippies were not always like that. And I have all, yes, they weren't, I, they weren't like this before. They weren't. 
but and then not everybody has that issue either so it's almost like what's really going on guys i went through my lipstick collection last month and i smelled my tom ford lipsticks only one reeked the others still smell like vanilla i have dozens but i don't reach for them hey now pull them to the front pull them to the front <laughs> But thankfully, it was only one because I actually do have some older Tom Ford lipsticks that I kept for the sake of I like the packaging. So I don't use them anymore, but I still have them because, listen, I don't care. We all have stuff in our collection like that. As much as I am OCD clean, always cleaning stuff, I just have a few that I don't use, but I still have. <laughs> so I'm happy to hear that only one out of your collection was not so good. How long? Um. Okay under a year, like the six month mark, which is fine. But I think because I'm used to a lot of lipsticks going a year, I can justify $55 for that year. I mean, I can justify $55 for six months, but I don't know. I just wanted to tell you guys that they go bad a little quick, just a little quick. Okay. So Let's talk about the lip liner. Tom Ford calls it the lip, lip sculptor. Here she is. It comes in, you know, the Tom Ford packaging. You know, Tom Ford. But what makes this one different is it has a little color ring right here. So when you store it, if you store it, you can store it like that and you can see what it is. So one end comes with a brush. It's a nice brush. I just haven't used it yet. <laughs> and the other end is the pencil. Now, I love this so much about Tom Ford. It's almost like a cross between architecture and makeup. Because when he speaks about makeup and the face, he talks about it as if it's a structure. You know, how you contour it and things like that. So what I'm getting at is the tip of this liner is triangular. And it's just like, it's so nice for your Cupid's bow and all of that. This one is in the shade number three, Devita. Um, I will, s oh, hope I didn't get that on my shirt. <laughs> I will say online, these liners look a little darker than they are. Because even if you just are going by this, like, yeah, maybe a little, but a little lighter than this, if that makes sense. So let me show you what it swatches like. And I will say they're very creamy and they feel nice. I've just filled my lips in with this plenty of times and it's been nice and I've rocked it. It's wonderful. I have a better <laughs> to let my OCD show, but I have these tiny colored circle stickers I put on lipstick to indicate the month. I really appreciate that. I do because I date things and I have little tabs on things. And there was a point in my life where I had like a, a, a little notebook that I, listen, OCD is a real thing. <laughs> so I have lost cherry. I do not. I don't have lost cherry. <laughs> Listen, listen, again, it's Tom Ford Tuesday, but you guys, I have this Dior box sitting here. I have uh, Natasha Denona. What is this one? Zendo. Like, and you best believe I've ordered makeup this week. The Westman Atelier new nude lip thing I ordered and some other crap. Okay. <laughs> so. We all have a problem, but it's a good problem because <laughs> we can share it with each other and it's okay. <laughs> but I would like to know how you're feeling about it once you try it tomorrow. Yes, you do. Aren't they wonderful? I love his products. Like, oh my God. R right? Everything. I love the shape. It really, really is awesome. So I will just quick, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. I'll look in here. You guys understand. We're using this as, I'm just going to fill in the lip with this so you can see what it looks like. Oh, 
No. Why you do that to me? Come on. Sorry, guys. I'm back. He didn't miss much. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Unnecessary. Have a wonderful night. So that's it on my upper lip. Like I said, it's a little bit lighter than the... Well, now that it... Well, maybe a little. <laughs> now that I put it side by side. Okay, let's see. Just filling in the whole thing so you can see what it looks like. And, you know, right now my lips are going to be a little bit more pigmented because I've been swatching and there's friction and all of that. So, you know, the blood flow in that area is going to make it a little bit brighter. I didn't color in the lines even though I had a pencil. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, are we cute? Okay. So, that is the liner. Just put it all over the lips so you can see the color. And again, this is it swatched. And that is number three, Devita. Like so, like that. And I like putting it all over and then going in with this combo right here, the Gloss Lux in Inhibition. You guys, the Shade and Illuminate Concealer is supposed to be coming in packaging like this. Oh. I'm ready. So ready, Thomas Ford. Anywho, this is Inhibition Wonderful Gloss. These are the glosses that replaced the prior formulation, which came with the brush tip. This has your traditional doe foot. Here is what Inhibition swatch is like. And I'm telling you, it pairs beautifully with this lip liner. Mm, so good. So I'm going to dip back in and, you know, do a little something, something. And the, the formulation on these glosses is everything. And yes, I only have one. But this is like my third one. And look at that already. As I have a breakfast. I, mean, I really like it. <laughs> it's fair to say. Hey, Becky. Yay. Thank you so much. See you next Tuesday. This lip liner is per... Girl, do you see this combo? Am I having too much fun? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> do the glosses go bad fast? No, I haven't had that issue. But I will be honest with you, I haven't had any time I've had, what is this, my third one? I want to say this is my third one. I haven't had it long enough, longer than six months. But I haven't heard anybody say anything about these going bad. But for me, no. <sighs> Hi. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Yes, the gloss luxes are amazing. Love them. So good. Yes, I love it. I do. What listen. Hey now. You know, you know. Look at that packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? This one size. Okay, I know I'm talking all over the place, but guys, you know, it's okay. We're just talking, okay? <laughs> but once I saw that the shade and illuminate was coming in this packaging, oh, to match the foundation, like what? Like this is so Tom Ford to me. Like I, like this is cool and all, but like it's not this. <laughs> I love this glosses packaging so. Huh. Like. I was realistic with myself. I bought one gloss and I fell in love with that one gloss and I keep repurchasing that one gloss. Like I need to cut it out and buy other colors. 
yes, I know they will make me buy it purchase. But you love it. The fact of the matter is that Venice loves this gloss. Yes, I made her buy it, but she loves it. And she would repurchase it, she told me. <laughs> I do. And you know what? I questioned that about these. I was like, how much product is in here? But you do have... I I feel like when I get a little, sometimes if I'm in a situation and I feel a little nervous, I'll put on gloss. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it happens. Or if I'm just home, because uh, obviously we've been home and I just want to have something I'm putting, I'm always reaching for this. So I think that's why I go through these fast, but it has been out for a while. So leave me alone. <laughs> hello lisa thank you for joining us yeah the packaging is gorgeous smoking glass and inhibition i need to venture out and try more shades yes my friend matt texted me and asked me to send him a picture of my whole makeup collection Whoa, I said, to show you in person it. Listen, I know, like, I know, like, I've, I've done, a, I've done a makeup collection in the past, but it's just like, I get overwhelmed. Okay. So it's like, you're right. I get it. It's too much, but in a good way, it's a beaut. Listen, it's an arsenal. That's what my husband calls it. He calls it the arsenal. He says, I'm stocking up for my own crazy reason, <laughs> you know, but I mean, I get it. I get it. So guys, let me get back to why we're here. <laughs> but see, this is honestly what I love about the live format is that we can go off track a little bit, can just talk about anything. You know, I love that. So this is my Tom Ford lipstick collection. And that is it. That is it. That is realistic. That is, I know like you, you think, I don't know, maybe you would think I have more. I feel like people think I have more. <laughs> I just want to keep it realistic to myself and know that these are things I'm going to use because I hate the fact that makeup is such a waste sometimes. Yeah, I won't, I won't get too much into that. But, you know, for fun, I pulled out, I have, like I mentioned earlier, and then I'll let you lovelies go, but I have just a few, and this is it. These are the ones that are, they're old. I know that they're old. I no longer put them on my mouth, but I'll swatch them for you just for fun because for whatever crazy reason, I can't seem to get rid of them. <laughs> so I'll share these four with you really quick. This one is another one of the lip balms, but this one was, I th like think the, this came out such a long time ago. I was like, mm, I know it's time to go. It doesn't, but here's the crazy thing. And I know I talked about like the lipsticks going bad quick, but as old, I want to say this is probably four years old. It doesn't smell like vanilla, but it doesn't smell like anything. So then there was that, but again, it's a bomb and it's in the shade. La Piscine, it looks super dark, right? How gorgeous is that? But, okay, let's watch it here because my arm is full. A light swatch. It's very, you know, but what's awesome is you can build these up. Gorgeous. This I replaced with a Dior lip thingy. Yeah. <laughs> I listen. Hello. Um, but honestly, I feel so conscious with the waste because yeah, like I'm all about getting all the new stuff and sharing it and loving it. But I have to be realistic to myself and to my financials. <laughs> I will not get myself in trouble over no makeup. So I limit myself. I control myself. I am a mom. I have a mortgage. I have kids that I got to worry about and put them in college. So we ain't going to go too crazy buying all the makeups. 
<laughs> and then wasting it, you know? Oh. Okay. Um, this, this came out, this is probably like another four-year-old. This one is an ultra rich lip color in Ap Aphrodite. Listen, these names, I tell you, how gorgeous. Yeah, it's another pink, okay? <laughs> but I don't use this one on the lips anymore. So that's what that one looks like. And I really love this. But it was just like, girl, you have other pinks. It's okay. So that's that one. And I tell you the honest truth why I haven't been able to get rid of these, the ones that I'm sharing with you now, because yes, they're old, but I haven't been able to get rid of them, is because the person who really helped me discover Tom Ford and came with me to counters, I bought these when I was with her. And they're kind of like, you ever attach emotions and stories and memories to clothes or items? Yeah, I attach the memory to these lipsticks. <laughs> so I have another one in Paradiso. I think it's the same lip color sheer. Oh, lip color sheer. This is something different. Yeah, you guys knew it was going to be a pink. Hello. <laughs> okay. So that's what this one looks like. It's so brainy, right? And then, oh, almost dropped it. The packaging, right? Yes, Joy, the bomb. So gorgeous. Was it Michelle Wong? With what? What did I say? I feel like I'm over here on a soapbox. What did I say? <laughs> and then the last one is the Moisture Core Lip Color in Ontario. This is another probably four years. Yeah, these are all about four years old. And again, I don't use them anymore. But the, when these came out, how cool is that? I mean, it claimed to have a moisture core, I guess. I didn't really, it was just like lipstick to me. I did not really see much of anything with this like that. That one, that was just one swipe. It is very similar-esque to the balm. But if you build her up, it's just super gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, like it's so tempted. I'm, it's so tempted. Monique, speak proper English, please. There's people watching you. <laughs> um, it's, it's swatched so gorgeous and none of these smell bad. So you see, it's like around this time period, it was sometime after the four year mark. Stuff got weird. Something changed. Because none of these smell weird. But the moment I get a Casablanca or an Indian Rose. Mm. <laughs> she ha Listen, I have watched every single one of her Tom Ford videos. I'll tell you that much. Definitely. But no, <laughs> it wasn't. The memories. It's the memories for me. Yeah. It's, it's fun. And it's like, even with you guys, like, there's comments that I never forget. You know, there's comments that made a made a day better. Or just the excitement that you guys share with me. Like, oh my god, I got it and I love it. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. I'm a little, little <laughs> We have fun. We have fun with our makeup. But you guys, look. My lipstick collection. And this combo right here the most comfortable and amazing and here's the eye look again and i'm feeling good today feeling good today so i will list you know everybody's going to be listed down below in the description box if you want to check anything out you know there are affiliate links down there and if you choose to shop thank you very much it all comes back to the channel but you guys happy time for tuesday next week let's meet same place same time let's do some eye looks let's yeah let's do some eye looks let's let's do some eye looks what do you say <laughs> uh, i guess we can kind of figure out which palettes we'll use or because i kind of enjoy mixing and matching my tom ford palettes we can do something like that or we can like i don't know 
can just do Tom Ford stuff. It's Tom Ford Tuesday. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you all so much for being a part of our unofficial Tom Ford Tuesday. <laughs> Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you same place, same time next week, right here for another Tom Ford Tuesday. But <laughs> stay beautiful, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.